Talmud Bavli Gemara Brachot, Perk Shlishi, Daf Kaf Dalet Aleph, oh sorry, Daf Kaf Dalet Bet, Chapter 3, Page 24b. We're actually just going to start on the last line of the previous page. The Amma Rabbi Hanina, Rabbi Hanina said, Ani Ra'iti et Rabbi Shigi Hek. I saw that. And the Rebbe uh, burped, Ubi Hek yawned, Ve Nit Atesh, and he sneezed, Ve Rak, and he spit on the ground, and now at the top of the of Kaftel and Bed. Umema Umashmesh Bevigdo, and handled his garment, that is, he removed a, uh, a lice from the garment. Ava Lohaya Mit but he would not wrap himself uh, in his, he would not wrap himself. Uh, that is, during Shimon Esri, if the talus fell from his shoulders, uh, he uh, would not pick it up and wrap himself in it. And when he would yawn during Shimon Esri, he would place his hand upon his chin so as to conceal his gaping mouth. Metive, they challenged this. One who allows his voice to be heard. While reciting his prayer, Hareze Mikatane Amanais of he is of those of little faith. Hamag Biha Kolo Bitfilato, one who raises his voice during Shwane Stray during his prayer. Hareze Minve Hasheker, he's of the false prophets. Megahek Umefahek, one who belches or yawns during his prayer. Hareze Migase Haruah, he's of the haughty ones. Hamit Atesh Bitvilato, one who sneezes during his prayer. Siman Ralo, it is an evil omen for him. The Yesham Rimen, some say, Nikashehu Mechoar, it is evident that he is a foul individual. Harak Bitvilato, one who spits during his prayer. Ki'ilu Rak Bifnei Hamelch, it is as if he spit before the king. Bishlama Megahek Umefahek, Lokashia, now it is understandable. Regarding burping and yawning, there is no contradiction. Khan uh, Leonso here, Rebbe did these things against his will, uh, so he can't be haughty. Khan Lirtono, but here in the Brasa, we're talking about someone who does it deliberately. El Amitatesh, Amitatesh, Kasha, but there is a contradiction between the Brasa statement, one who sneezes, and Rabbi Hanina's testimony uh, that one that uh, regarding Rebbe who sneezed. Mitatesh im amitatesh nami lokashia, one who sneezes is also not a contradiction. Mitatesh uh, amitatesh nami lokashia, one who sneezes is also not a contradiction to Rabbi Hanina's testimony about one who sneezed. Kan milmala, for here it refers to a sneeze from above, that is the nose. Kan milmata, in the Barais refers to a sneeze from below. Uh, regarding passing guests. De Amar Rav Zera, Rav Zera said, Ha milta iv la'a li be Rav Hamnuna. This thing was made known to me in the Academy of, Ram, of Rav Hamnuna. Ud kila li, ko, li ki kule talmudai. And to me it is equal to all of my learning. Hamita tesh bitfilato siman yafe lo, one who sneezes. From his nose during prayer is a good omen for him. Keshem she osim lo nachat ruach milmata. Just as they give him satisfaction below in this world, kach osim lo nachat ruach milmala. So do they give him satisfaction above in heaven? So there's nothing wrong with sneezing during Shmon Esra. And the Brayser is talking about someone who passes gas. Ela rak arak kasha, but there is contradiction between the Brayser of one who spits. And Rebbe who spat, Rak Arak Nami Lokasha, one who spits is also not a contradiction to Rabbi Hanina's testimony. One who spat, Efsha Kidrav Yehuda, Rebbe may have done as suggested by Rav Yehuda, Da Amar Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda said, Haya Omed Bitfila, Beniz Damen Lorok, one was standing prayer and saliva materializes in his mouth. Mibal Mavlio Batalito, he can uh, discreetly absorb it into his cloak. The Im Talit Na'ehu, if it is a fine cloak, 
Mavlio Ba'afak Suto. He should absorb it into his turban. Ravina Hava Ka'e Achore de Ravashi. Ravina was standing behind Ravashi while he was praying. Nizda men Lorok. Saliva materialized in Ravashi's mouth. Patke La Achore. And he threw it behind him. That is, he spat behind him. Ama. I'll just make sure that's what it says. Right. Amale Ravina said to him, Lo savala malaha de Ravioda. Has to not agree to Ravioda's ruling. Mavlio be'afar afrak suto, that one should absorb his spit into his turban. Amale Ravashi said to him, Ana anina da'atani da'ata'i. I'm a person of delicate sensibilities. And I don't uh, want to be sickened by saliva in my turban, so I spit behind me. So now we're just going to scroll down on the screen. So the first line of the middle section, Hamash Hamashmia. So now we're at the top of the screen. I just had to, uh, a little bit of the top's cut off so we can see the bottom. Hamashmiya kolo bitfilato hareze miktane amana, one who allows his voice to be heard during his prayer, during Shwan Esre, he's of those of little faith. Ama Ravhuna, Ravhuna said, Lo shanue lo shiachol lakavenet libo belachash. Rabbis did not teach this except for one who is able to concentrate. Um, while praying quietly, aval ein yachol lechaven et libo belachash. But if one is unable to concentrate while praying quietly, mutar, it is permissible to say it loudly or audibly. Vehanemi le beyachid. However, these words is for only for one who is praying alone. Aval betziburate lemitrad tzibura. But if you're praying with a tzibur with a congregation, he will come to confuse the congregation if he's doing it loudly. Rabbi Abba. Hava ka mishtameit mine de Rav Yehuda. Rav Abba was avoiding Rav Yehuda. De Hava ka ba'el meisak la Arad Yisrael. For he wished to go up to Eretz Yisrael. Rav Yehuda didn't allow him to. De Ama Rav Yehuda. For Rav Yehuda said, Kol haola mi ba'vel la Eretz Yisrael over ba'ase. One who goes up from Babel to the land of Israel violates a positive commandment. Shnema for it said, the Bavela Yuvo Yuv Yuvau the Shama Yu Ad Yom Pakti Otam Neuma Neum Hashem they shall be brought to Babylonia and there they shall remain until the day that I need that I take heed of them, says Hashem. Amar Azil the Eshma Mine Miltami Bet Va Va Ada Ravada said, Let me go and learn something from Outside the study hall, the Hadar up epic, and then I will go Azal Ashkehe Latana de Katane Kame de Rav Yehuda. He went to the study hall and found a teacher of Barisos who was teaching before Rav Yehuda. Hayame Bitvila Vinitatesh, one was standing in prayer and he passed wind. Mamtin Aji Hle Haruach, he waits until the wind passes from around him, Vechazer Mitvala, and then returns to where he was. Where he stopped and continues praying, Ikada Amri. There are those who say, there are others who say, Haya Omed Bitfila Vikesh Litatesh. One was standing in prayer and he felt an urge to pass wind. Machik Lacharavar Ba Motu Mitatesh. He steps back for a moment and passes wind. Umat Umamtin Adshi Chle Haruach. Wait until the odor of the gas passes. Bechazer Omitalel. He returns and prays for Omer and he says, Ribona Shalelam, Master of the Universe. Yetzatano nekavim nekavim chalulim chalulim. You formed us with openings upon ca- upon openings and cavities upon cavities. Galui viadur lifanecha. It is revealed and known before you. Cherpatenu uchli matenu bechayenu. Hashem in humiliation during our lives. Uva achritenu rimave tolea. And at our end, worms and maggots await us. Umatzchil mimakom shepasaki. Then begins from the place where he stopped. Amale Ravava said to the teacher, Ilu lobati ela lishma javaze. If I'd come to hear only to only this thing, da'i, it would have been sufficient for me. 
Tanu Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in a Baraisa, Hayaya Shem Betalito, a person was sleeping naked in his cloak, the Enoya Chalatia Droshomi Pre Hatina, and he's unable to stick out his head because of the cold, Chotet Betalito Al Tsvaro, he shall petition his head from the rest of his body with his cloak and wrap it, uh, wrap it on his neck, the Kore Kriat Shma, and he may recite the Shma, the Yeshom Imalibo, and some say he should wrap the cloak on his heart. The Tanakama, why does the Tanakama require that he wraps it in around his neck, not his heart? Hareli Boroe et ha erva because his heart still sees his nakedness. Kasava li boro et 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 ha erva muta the Tanakama holds that if one's heart sees his nakedness, this is allowable in saying Shema. Amar Rav Huna, Amar Amar Rav Yochanan, Rav Huna said in the name of Rav Yochanan, Hayam Halech Mi Bim Mevo Bim Voot Ham Me Tunafot. If one was walking in filthy alleyways and time the time of Shmuel was passing by, Maniach Yado Al Piv, he should place his hand over his mouth, over his mouth. The correct Kriya Shema, and he may recite the Shema. Amar le Rav Chista, Rav Chista says to Rav Huna, Hey Lokim, my God. Im Amar le Rav Yochanan be for me. If Rav Yochanan had told me the, this law with his own mouth, I would not have listened to him. Ika de Amri, there are those who say, Amar Ravi, Amar Rabba bar bar Chana, Amar Rab, Amar Rabi Yosha ben Levi. Rabba bar bar Chana, said in the name of Rabi Yosha ben Levi. Hayam elach bim vaot. One was walking in filthy alleyways. He should place his hand over his mouth and he may recite Shema. Amal e Rav Chista, Rav Chista said to Baba Chana, Ha'elokim by God. Im Amarali Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Be'fumeha, if Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi had told me this all with his own mouth, Lot Satan Ale, I would not have listened to him. Umi Amar Rav Huna Hachim, did Rav Huna actually say this? About Shmas being said in a filthy other way. Amar Rav Huna, but Rav Huna has said, Tamlicha Hamasolo, La Amod bin Kom Ha Tinofet, is forbidden for a Torah scholar to stand in a filthy place. The Fisha E. Esha, Lo La Amod Beli Hirhur Torah, because it's impossible for him, for him to stand idle without, uh, without having uh, Torah thoughts. Lokashia, there is no difficulty. Kanba Omed, here, uh, where he's stringent, is one who is standing in a filthy place, Khan Bemihalech, and there he is leaning, speaking of one who is walking through such a place and not pausing to stop. Umiyama Rabbi Yochanan Hachim, did Rabbi Yochanan actually say this? Bama Rabba Barbar Khan, Ama Rabbi Yochanan Rabba Barbar Khan, has said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, Bechomakom Muta, Lehar Hebi Divay Torah, is permitted to ponder Torah matters in every place. Chutz mi beit hamerchat and mi beit hakisei, except a bathhouse and a latrine. Uh, a shower and toilet, or a bathhouse and toilet. So how could he have? Uh, so Rabbi Yochanan would not uh, would not permit saying Shema in a filthy place because the alleyway is full of uh, refuse. Vichi teima hachanami, and if you will say here to Kanba Omed, here is. Uh, Rabbi Yochanan speaks of one who is standing in a filthy place, Kan Bumi Halech, and there one who is walking through such a place without stopping. Aini, is this so? Baha Rabbi Abahu, Havaka Azil Batre, the Rabbi Yochanan, but Rabbi Abahu was walking behind Rabbi Yochanan, Bahavaka Kare Kriyat Shema, and he was reciting Shema at the time, Kimata Bimvoot, Metunafot, Aishtik, when they reached a filthy alleyway, Rabbi Abahu, uh, paused and was quiet. Amar le the Rabbi Yochanan, and afterwards, after getting out of there, he says, Rabbi Yochanan, Ahechan ehedar. To which point should I return and resume my recital? Amar le Rabbi Yochanan said back to him, In sheh shahita kedeligmo et kula. If he paused, the amount of time it takes you to complete the entire shema. Chazo la rosh. He must return to the very beginning. Hachi kamar le Rabbi Yochanan. Meant to say to Rabbi Abahu this, Lididi lo svira li esmi, I do not hold that you require to interrupt your Shema. Lididi this disvira la, according to you who holds uh, that recital is prohibited, 
im shehita kedei ligmor kula. If you pause the amount of time it takes to complete the entire Shema, Chazola Rosh, you must return to the very beginning. Tanya kavate de Rav Huna, who is taught in in accordance with Rav Huna. Tanya kavate de Rav Chista, it was taught in a Baraisa in accordance with the ruling of Rav Chista. Tanya kavate de Rav Huna, who is taught in a Baraisa in accordance with the ruling of Rav Huna. Hamehalech bimvaot. One who's walking in a filthy alleyway, Maniach Yadu al Kivi, Krakriya Shma, may place his hand over his mouth and recite the Shma. Tanya Kavate de Rav Chizda was taught in a brace in accordance with the ruling of Rav Chizda, like this. Hayamelech bin Vaot, Hamitunafot, if one was walking in a filthy alleyway. Loi Krakriya Shma, he may not recite Shma, Velo Oda, not only that. Ela she'im haya koreo va'posek, but if he was in the middle of reciting Shmo and he came to the, such an unclean place, he must stop. Lo pasak mai, if he did not interrupt, what is thought of him? Ama rabbi meyasha ba'berei de rabbi Yosho ben Levi, rabbi meyasha, the grandson of rabbi Yosho ben Levi, said, Allah hakatu v'omer, scripture, the Torah says about him, Sorry, the Tanakh says about him. The Gamani Natati Lahim Chukim Lotovim. So I too gave them decrees that were not good. O Mishpatim Lo Yichyo Bahem and laws by which they could not live. This is from Yechezkel. Rabbi Yasi Amar. Rabbi Yasi said, Hoi Moshe Ha'avon. Bechavle Hashav, woe to those who pull iniquity upon themselves with cords of falsehood. Ravada Barahava, Mamehacha, Ravada Barahava said from here, Kitva Hashem Baza, for he scorned the word of Hashem. And the rest of the Pasuk is, and break his commandments, that person will surely be cut off his sinners upon him. The Gemara asks a question. The Impasak Mascharo, if one does stop his Shmarasarul and enters an unclean, unclean place, what is his reward? Ama Rabbi Abahu, Rabbi Abahu said, Allah Hagatov Omer, scripture says of him, Tanakh says about him, Uva Davah Zetarihu Yamim, and through this matter shall you prolong your days. Ama Rabhuna, Rabhuna said, Ama Rabhuna, Rabhuna said, Haita Talito Chagurallo Al Matnav, if one's cloak was girded around his hips and covering him from his hips downwards. Mutali Krotkriya Shema is permitted to recite Shema, even though the upper half of his body is exposed. Tanya Namihaki was also taught in a Baraisa, Haita Talito, Shel Beged, Veshel Or, Veshel Sak, Chagaro Al Matnav, if one's cloak of cloth, leather or sackcloth, was around his hips. Mutali Krotkriya Shema is permitted to recite Shema.